name is Kelly. Welcome to LegsBumsAndTums.com. Today in the kitchen we're going to be baking a pumpkin and apple slice. The pumpkin and apple actually comes from baby food. We're going to be using 100 grams of a pumpkin and apple mix. The reason why I use a lot of baby food in my um, cooking is because a lot of it's preservative free and 100% natural. So first we put the 100 grams of pumpkin and apple food into the bowl. Make sure you get all of it. Then we're going to mix in one egg. Make sure you don't get any shell in the mixture. Just mix that around. Next we're going to put about two tablespoons of Argave nectar. You can use honey. Now I'm just going to guess this. And then we're going to put two tablespoons of peanut butter in there. So it's one and two. Now we're just going to mix it around. Okay, mix it so that the peanut butter is right through and melted in. Next we're going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. And half a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. Okay. And also I've got a tiny bit about half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then going to mix in thoroughly. So all the lumps are out. Then we're going to put in a small dish. Make sure you get all of it in. Once you've finished putting the mix into the tray, you're then going to turn the oven on 180 degrees Celsius, which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're then going to bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. Now we're going to make the icing. Now this is a crucial part to the actual apple and pumpkin mix because both together taste absolutely amazing. Right, so in a food processor, I want you to put a tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm just using an unflavoured coconut oil. Then you're going to put a tablespoon of peanut butter. Then a quick squeeze of Argave nectar or honey. And then the essential ingredient is coconut milk. Now I'm going to put about two or three tablespoons in, but I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, maybe a bit more. Just see what it's like with the consistency when you get it started. And then we're going to mix it all together. This mixture only makes about um, six to eight small portions. So if you're wanting to make more, just double up the ingredients. Now, at the end, make sure that you put the coconut icing on top because I tell you, it absolutely makes a slice. If you want more of these recipes, you can go to kellywinnie.com and purchase my Healthy Life Cookbook or you can visit leagsbumsandtums.com for more of these videos.